Hello guys, this is me, Brady, again, and I'd like to go over a quick um, run-through of my latest Hackintosh system. And so here it is right here, and I've got an Intel Core 2 Duo, um, actually Quad Core 2 Duo, um, 2.8 GHz, that's overclocked from 2.33 GHz. And I've got 2 GB of DDR, um, DDR800 RAM. And I have a P5 KPL CM Asus motherboard, and it's got an Asus um, 9800 GT, which is an NVIDIA um, based card. And um, we've just got like a standard Firewire um, PCI um, card in there, and I've got three drives actually. I've got a 500 gigabyte hard drive, a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and a 320 gigabyte hard drive. And as far as um, DVD drives go, I've just got an IDE um, DVD drive um, slash burner, and I've got a card reader in there, and that's about it as far as the hardware goes. So. <coughs> Here we are, and I'm actually running OS 10, and for the most part it runs pretty flawlessly. Of course, I had to s install um, uh, quite a bit of drivers in order to get it into a state. I'd install the um, Open Halt Restart Kext, which allows me to turn off the computer. Very important. And I also had to install um, Apple HDA, a modified version so that this um, audio card would work and then I also had to install an EFI string so that um, my graphics card would work but um, it's it's all recognized by OS 10 and it shows up as a core 2 quad CPU 8200 at 2.81 GHz 2GB of 667 MHz DDR2 SD RAM which it's actually running at 800 megahertz, um, but I'm not. I'm just not sure why it's not detecting it as that. And anyways, so that seems to be working fine. Um, and I'm actually running 10.57. If you can see that there, 10.57. And so I'm all up to date um, as of today. And if we go to more info, we've got one tiny little problem, and that would be. Oops, hold on. That would be that it says there was an error gathering this information. Um, I'm not sure what's causing this at the moment, but it happened ever since I installed the 10.5.7 update. So it's something related to that, but I'm actually running a vanilla kernel, so I was able to update perfectly fine. And so setting that aside, hold on, we can move on to some of the other system stuff. So, um, down here I've got all of the standard applications that come with the Mac. We've got the whole entire iLife suite right here. Um, for example, we can open iPhoto, and iPhoto should run perfectly, flawlessly. And those are some exported photos from Lightroom, which I exported directly to iPhoto. Um, and these are just some wedding photos I took. Um, and we've got a bunch of um, albums in here and everything pretty much seems to work fine um, my catalogs pretty big so it takes a while to shut down um, of course I've got pretty much the entire um, Adobe suite down here and they all run fine can open up Photoshop and um, opens flawlessly um, no problems as of yet and I've been running this for about a month so far and there we go we got Photoshop up and running and it works um, I'm running Entourage so that I can use my exchange server and it seems to be running fine um, of course Entourage sucks compared to Outlook on Windows but oh well um, I've, I'm running a VPN up here and it seems to be working fine and as you can tell right here I've got three drives I've got a 250 gigabyte boot drive which I know that's a little bit small 
but then I've got a 500 gigabyte data hard drive and then a 320 gigabyte backup hard drive. Now the backup hard drive is really nice because I can use that with Time Machine and I can go up here to Time Machine and hit Enter Time Machine and you know um, it takes a second to load and there we go we've got Time Machine and we can just um, rewind to you know yesterday and there we go there's the folder that was on my desktop that I accidentally deleted and of course you can choose to restore it um, but anyways uh, let's just get out of that and it takes a second and here we go back on the desktop and most applications are um, running fine I've actually haven't even gotten any applications that don't work fine we've got Safari 4 and Safari 4 is actually running amazing on OS 10 um, yeah it's probably the best browser on OS 10 um, it's nice and fast um, almost just about as fast as Chrome on Windows, so that's always nice. And uh, just quit that. Um, if you're wondering how I got the dual wallpaper, uh, the dual monitor wallpaper, I'm using VLAD Studio Companion, and it just lets you s um, set wallpaper automatically, which is nice. Um, let's see what else works. Uh, we've got spaces. Spaces works flawlessly. Um, and I think I've probably gone over just about everything and that I need to go over in OS 10 just to prove that it works. Um, of course I've got Word, which personally I don't really like Word compared to, um, iWork. But anyways, we'll just open up Word just to demonstrate that it works. So there we go, opening Word, and there we go, we're in Word. Word works perfectly, and of course, gotta exit out of Word. And so, overall, overall, I haven't had very many problems with OS 10 on my um, Hackintosh, and it's a it's a great project, and you should try it out. Um, you can get a lot of the information on how to build a Hackintosh and what parts are needed from insanelymac.com or os1086project.org so I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about the Hackintosh and some of the stability and all of that stuff um, so just check out for some more of my videos as I'm going to be reviewing the Nikon D3 I've shot about Oh, 30,000 shots on it so far, so I'll give an in-depth review of that. Um, so yeah.